Welcome back to his mum's garage. Welcome back guys to this clown's garage. In this video, I have a 2007 Chevy Impala and it's, it's uh, throwing a code P0455. And I already took the old one out last week to check it. And all I did real quick was put power and ground to this terminal here. And once you do that, it closes the solenoid and you can't push air through here. So. I know there's a faulty one on the car right now, and this is the new one. This is a very common issue in these cars, so let me show you how to replace this. Let's begin! Alright guys, now we're underneath the car. This is the rear driver's side, right behind the tire over here. And as you can see, we don't even have to jack up the car. It's very easily accessible. It's right over here. Now this one broke off the, its mount. As you can see, it's rusted over here. So now we just have to take the hose off and the connector off. Uh, first thing we could do here is there's a connector right there. So I'm going to go ahead and put a little flathead right behind it and stick it from behind. Twist it up and pop it out. That came off like that. Now if you follow the hose coming out of the EVAP solenoid, it connects right over here to this, rubber, this big rubber hose that goes to the charcoal canister. And you could stick a pick behind it to pop the seal. This one should be good. And let me see if I could just pull it off the hose. It's coming off. Just like that. And now, finesse this out. And this whole thing should come right out. Just like that. Okay, now this bracket, it's all rusted. There's a 10 millimeter bolt that's holding that in. Go ahead and put this socket on it. Hammer that in. and get rust all over your camera girl. Put the ratchet on there. Try to take that off. Alright, so the bolt was over there. Now put like a little bit of a pry bar back there. Go ahead and grab that. And that comes right out. So these are the part numbers. One's the vapor canister to the vent solenoid and the vent solenoid, vent solenoid connector. This is the connector from AC Delco. And you need this because this is an updated part. What you gotta do is you gotta put this in here. Just like that. Make sure this red thing is pushed in. And now this will go into the harness on the car. Because as you can see here, that's what, you, that's what you want to connect it to the car. So I'll go ahead and put this in the car now. Okay, so the first thing is wrap the hose in first. And as you can see, this rubber piece here, this goes on this bracket. right there and now you can just push this hose in and you'll be done on this side okay so that's done all right now over here you guys slide this one end in right here Gotta get the wire out of the way. Don't want the wire in the way. Okay. Okay, so 
and I went in. And now I, all right, all right. There you go. And now you can put the bolt in on the other end. And now with a little extension, put the bolt in on this side. I also put some butter sauce lube, some penetrating oil on those threads. It's a little rusty. Go ahead and tighten that down. And you're good. All right, now pop this in here. Clicked, that's good. Now there's a clip back here. Let's see if I can put it on this bracket on top. Just like that. And we're good. And that's how you replace a vent solenoid. Thanks for watching, subscribe to our channel, like me and share me. See ya!